camera. Here we go. Now it's the right one. So wonderful. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to our morning briefing show presented by Admirals, you know, best broker ever. My name is Marcus, and I know that I'm back. Mast here, wonderful. Good morning. So um, I have you, I hope you have, uh, you had a great night and a relaxing night and you are prepared for this new trading day. And I'm looking forward to talk to you about the markets, something uh, most of the times we have to handle our money, uh, we have to mention our running trades, but we have to talk about the markets a little bit too. So I wish all of you, of course, a wonderful and lovely day. And I want to say good morning to Zoom and of course, on the right side, I can see a lot of listeners this morning on YouTube as well. I'll see Relaxion, good morning. Yanis, good morning. Masia, good morning. Thomas. Um, Biaru Hanga, wonderful. Good morning. Mike, <laughs> let me say Mike. <laughs> it's easier. <laughs> okay, wonderful. So you see, we stream this show on YouTube at the same time. And uh, you will find a button in the right corner. You can click on it. You can subscribe this channel so you will never miss an episode. Uh, you can give us a like if you say, okay, it's a cool thing or thumb down, whatever is in your mind. And you can leave a comment right now here in the chat and of course below the video and here in the chat on Zoom too. Okay, let's share the screen. And let me see the chat. Wonderful, wonderful. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Oh my gosh, so many people. I love it. Our family is growing. That's really beautiful. So Tina, Chesseng, Mike, Hartmut, Janos, Mihai, good morning. Johan, Rainer, Raquel, lovely, good morning. Imrene, Joe Regelt, good morning. Uh, good morning to Peter. Good morning, Del. Plamen also, Ian and uh, Darshan. Wonderful, good morning. So let's see what we can do today. First of all, uh, the top news here on admiralmarkets.com slash analytics, you see in the chat here. Kurt, wonderful, good morning. Uh, German consumer confidence is expected to continue its downward trend. And uh, Hong Kong's real GDP expected to grow to up to 3.5% in 2022, uh, the financial secretary says. I guess uh, what cares about today or what moving the market or the people in Europe actually is uh, sincerely that Mr. our chancellor, chancellor Mr. Scholz, Yesterday said uh, the Nord Stream 2 uh, pipeline is cancelled for the moment. So, uh, you know, it's almost fixed. We can push the button to get the gas from Russia, but they have problems uh, with the, yeah, how should I say, certification about this. And uh, Mr. Scholz yesterday said, okay, you make an invasion into Russia, into Ukraine, we stop the certification of this um, pipeline. So this is the moment. I guess uh, actually it's not really the big problem because we can get gas from America and from other people. And uh, yeah, I would say, let's see what's happened today. So it's a confusing situation. Uh, markets actually a little bit stable, uh, basically, so it's nothing up and down. In the night, we have a little bit of recovery. We can see it right now, next minutes in the chart. And uh, that's the top news uh, this morning. Yeah, and by the way, we had the rate interest uh, interest rate this morning. And uh, it's going up to from 0.5 to 0.75. So uh, New Zealand dollar is going to be stronger because you get more for your money if you invest into the New Zealand uh, dollar. And this is a good sign, basically a good sign for the New Zealand dollar. So what do we expect today? It's Wednesday. We expect uh, Paul and he is talking to us about the webinar, simply a uh, simple trading strategies for beginners in 2022 part three. And uh, if I'm informed well, then Paul is with us this morning. We can ask him what he will talk about in this uh, webinar this afternoon, 2 p.m. London time. 
And always be well informed on our Admirals channel here on Telegram. Uh, you get it on your phone or on the screen. Uh, it's a cool thing, new podcast episode and uh, our webinar and uh, much more information you will find here in this uh, channel. If you are more a fan from Twitter, then you will find, uh, you will find Admirals Global here too. And my name is Trader 7 o there. Okay, so let's go to our DAX trade. And uh, yeah, because actually it's really confusing yesterday. So uh, basically we made a, with the short, a, a positive trade. Then uh, that was the second trend on here on the right side. I opened a, a long position here. Again, I got stopped out here again with a small loss. Then it was a second trend arm to open a position on the short side. And over the night, we have strong, we had much more buyers for the DAX, for the indices, which means I got out here, um, uh, I got out here at this morning. But last night before I went to bed, I was prepared for the second trend arm here. And it's a little bit confusing from my drawings here, but uh, it was the second trend on here and I'm still in, in this position, a little bit in loss. Stop loss is below the last point three and my mental stop where the official stop loss should be placed is here at the last confirmed point three. But you know, I always work with a mental stop to not falling into the trap of getting stops there because I know the game of the big players. They uh, have a look if there are more sellers there. So they tested this uh, area here to see if there are more sellers, if there is more volume on the, sh on the short side, but actually uh, there was not, which means uh, we had just some spikes. And this is the positive thing why I work with Heikin Ashi because it's easier to read and to listen to the chart. Jenny, wonderful good morning here on um, YouTube. Nice to have you here. And also, I think we have a visitor from Russia. Omar, good morning too. Okay, so that's it for DAX for the moment. Let's go to our focus charts. And in focus charts, we start with British pound USD because it's a running trade too. And then let's start with Euro USD. And in Euro USD, actually, there is, uh, for the moment, there is nothing to do because we are circling around the point of control, you see. For my trading style, the point of control or this market profile idea is a very good uh, orientation where I am. And I can, uh, Coco, nice to see you. Wonderful. No, of course, God, I have not forgotten you. Nice to have you back. I hope you're doing good. And your study is uh, your your study is really gone well. I hope so for you. Okay, so and for me, you see, sometimes we try to explain why the market is not moving, not really up, not really down. What's happened there? Um, and then you can see, okay, where we are. Yeah, high volume exactly at the point of control. So we say, or we call it the price is extremely, extremely fair value from both sides. The people or the traders around the world, especially the big traders say, okay, it's fine. Yeah, it's fine. No reason to bring uh, much movement here. Yeah, everything is fine. So, but if we, um, I don't want to analyze the chart. I draw my trend. So, and I draw my trend in this case, and it's always the same. So first, um, it's the first trend arm. So second one, third one, and we are still in the fourth trend arm, still in the fourth trend arm. And on the short side, yeah, it's this one. And we are still here in the second trend arm. Yeah, second trend arm. And I said only if you will have a close below the point of control, then I will speculate on a trend continuation for the big for the corrective trend right now. So therefore, I had my pending order here, and it was not filled in because you see price is going back over the point of control. So actually, I leave it 
in case that the price will go down and we have a close below the point of control. So actually, uh, I leave it here. So then uh, let's go to gold. And gold has a lovely trend and uh, there was not a trend continuation yesterday. So um, it was one, two, there was our entry. Third one, there was the exit. Next trend arm, next trend arm, and the next trend arm. So there was the last point two. That was the spike and there was, wow, oh, come on. Really close, really close. Um, that was a close above this last point too. Yeah, so it's a nice trend arm, which means you can set a stop order here or a mental stop. Maybe the hard stop is here because entry was there, perfect trade. And you see what can happen if you just let it go. Can make really much, much money if you learn how to let it go, the trades. So let's have a look at Bitcoin. Bitcoin is just uh, going down. And you see, um, it was my mistake because the perfect entry were here uh, because there was a partial profit from my long position, but there should be an entry for short too. So, and then next trend arm and next trend arm and next trend arm. And now we are in a correction. Your stop loss or mental stop, a mental stop loss could be placed there and you're really fine. So if you want, you can make a partial profit here anywhere and you're completely safe. Trend trading is a really, really cool thing. It's the hardest challenge for me as a human being. It's a simple system. But from the human part side here, from the human part, it's uh, hard stuff. But it brings a lot of money if you let it go, by the way. Okay, so then we have Dow Jones. Still going down. Still going down in the downtrend. So first trend arm, second entry there, perfect one. Next one and next one and next one. No trend continuation, cause no close. Yeah, so trend will break there and will continue there. Actually, we are in the um, how should I say? We are in the correction. But one, two, three, four. Yeah, and now we are in the fifth correction, fifth trend arm. So it's much way too old. There is nothing to do. And please uh, don't let it happen that news attach your trading. Don't do this. Just draw your trend and follow the rules. That's what you have to do. In four hourly chart, if you have a look at the DAX 40, uh, it's still downtrend too. And uh, it was. Oh, here we go. No, it was one, this one, yeah. Yeah, here we go. Entry, and here we go. In the you know, first, third, second, uh, third trend on here right now. But you see point of control is up here. We are really cheap in price. So it could be also possible that in four hourly chart, maybe we could see in a nearly future this one and then we can go up you know so keep it keep an eye on it not yet not today maybe tomorrow or maybe uh next week we will see okay so before we come to our running trades uh we have a lot of trades open for the moment um let's let let's ask the question the daily question and do you think bitcoin will be an official currency in the future so this is just what I am interesting for. So what do you think? Do you think Bitcoin will be an official currency in the future? You can pay in the grocery, in the store, or your car, or something like this. Do you really think Bitcoin will survive and will be an official 
currency in the future. So two options, yes, I think, oh no, that will never happen. So what's your private opinion about this? Really cool. Um, so let's go to the running trades and we start with Australian dollar, uh, Swiss franc. And finally, we have a trend continuation. So, and finally, the short is uh, done. It's not a short trend anymore. It's just a long position here. And we are in. And now we see a trend continuation and a lot of bias for Australian dollar. Maybe it could be a prediction for the markets because the currency traders around the world um, are mostly well known as well best informed traders. So, and you know, in currency markets, the biggest market ever on this planet Earth. And maybe I realized that we have since days a couple of a lot of buyers for Australian dollar. Yeah, of course, uh, maybe this could, it's the right decision, of course, nothing changed. In New Zealand dollar, we have a rise, um, but it could be possible that it could be um, changing for the market. Maybe we get kind of tightening uh, or kind of releasing or good news from the Ukraine crisis, and then you will see the market can jump up very, very fast. But draw the trend, be patient, there will be a trend. Yeah, there will be a trend. Australian dollar, Canadian dollar, finally, lovely, wonderful, next correction, and oh my gosh, next trend on, yeah, next trend on, and here you see, oh, that's lovely, yeah, one, two, three, four, five, six movement right now, ladies and gentlemen, this is trend following system, this is how you can make money. And now you can trail if you want the soft stop closer and you can trail the hard stop closer. Yeah, it's just on you. Lovely. This is what I'm talking about. Australian US dollar. Yes, next trend continuation. Next trend on. Finally, this one. This is really cool stuff. Yeah, and now finally you can trail your soft stop. Isn't that cool? And if you want, you can trail a soft hard stop into profit. I love it. It's a hard challenge. I know it's a really hard challenge to trust the system. But once you have learned it and you can do it with the online masterclass course, then you can do this also. So Canadian dollar, Japanese yen, uh, we are a little bit in loss. Everything is fine. Yeah, I, I guess it's time to, uh, to get out of the bus if we can see the prices going more up. Yeah, but it's, yeah, it's, still the third trend arm yeah and uh, yeah just cut a possible loss because if the price will going up there it's also possible that we get a new trend yeah or maybe you set an alarm there yeah you can work with a soft stop here that's cool yeah, just wait everything can happen canadian dollar swiss franc just in a correction everything is fine Swiss franc Japanese yen, we are a little bit in profit. We made partial profits. Everything is fine. Australian dollar, Euro Australian dollar. Yeah. Whoa, we have a next trend on, ladies and gentlemen. We have the next trend on, and now it's going down. Trend following system. Lovely. And if you want, you can trail your hearts, your soft stop here if you want. And if you want, you can trail the hard stop closer almost out of risk. Euro Swiss franc, uh, I guess we should trail the soft stop here in case that the main trend will continue because you see there was not really a trend break, not really. Trick, trick, trick. British pound Australian dollar, it's going down. British pound New Zealand dollar, uh, it's going up. It's still the second trend arm. Yeah, I set um, alarm here in case that the price will go up, then I get out of the bus. British pound, New Zealand dollar, we have a trend continuation, finally. Trend continuation here, which means uh, actually my stop loss is above the last point three. And if we see maybe a balance candle, then maybe we can make a partial profit. British pound, US dollar, it's going up for us. New Zealand dollar, Swiss franc. <laughs> Thanks, lovely market. 
And you see, positive thing that we make a re-entry. We cut a possible loss. Yeah, we couldn't know what happens next, but you should never miss the entry in the second trend arm. And now you see, thanks, lovely market. That's really cool. Yeah. And uh, we can close this order. And here, the stop loss is here. New Zealand Canadian dollar. Love it. Trend following system. Oh my gosh. Point of control. Don't forget it. Here, 0 0.87. Let's see if we reach this point of control. Really cool stuff. So you can trail your soft stop closer. Now you can trail your hard stop into profit. Yeah, cool thing. You know what? With the next balance candle, if you want, you can make a partial profit. Cool thing. And US dollar, Canadian dollar, just going up. New Zealand dollar, we are a little bit back in profit, by the way. And crude oil, ah. No trend continuation, no trend continuation. Jesus Christ, it will not work for me. <laughs> That's interesting, really interesting. So, but we are deep in profit, so uh, there is nothing to do. So um, we are in DEX, we have a, must have a look on it because now we are circling around my soft stop again and we really have a close, yeah, then it's interesting. And by the way, guys, we have a downtrend also. Yeah, we have a downtrend, it's this one. And we must be prepared in case that the, down will, uh, that the downtrend is continuing. So let's set a pending order on the short side uh, in case that the trend will continue to the short side. You must be prepared, it's the second trend on. Yeah. Okay, so New Zealand uh, US dollar, there was a question. New Zealand dollar, US dollar, okay. It's um, uh, here. Yeah, it's a long running trend. And by the way, back to the point of control, I'm quite sure. It's a long running trend and I hope you are in. So, um, yes, first trend arm and uh, second, third. So in case you had a soft stop there, uh, maybe you are out here. That could be possible, could be possible. So, but then we have this one, uh, that's really difficult. It's really difficult to see this. Um, yeah, just balance candles here. And your entry is this. Nah, we have to wait for the next correction. We have a lot of space to go up to the point of control. Just, just wait for the next correction. I have it on my watch list too. That was the reason. Now, in case you are not in, not out here on this part and you're still in, be happy. Uh, but we can wait for the next correction and then we can go up. Uh, so uh, we have a special guest today. And as always, as every Wednesday, uh, we invited today our famous, incredible, best trader ever, Mr. Paul Wallace. Paul, are you there with me? Where is my lovely Paul? Here we go. And with the sound and everything is fine. Good morning, Marcus. How are you? I'm really fine. I'm really fine. It's a little bit more bright in the morning right now. I guess uh, spring is coming back. I'm really happy about this. It's nice, isn't it? Yeah, it's, <laughs> it's very nice indeed. Yeah, after yeah. the dark winter months. I'm so done with this snow <laughs> and cold, and uh, I want to have my son and warm back. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't blame you for that. I don't. Yeah. Blame you. How it's on the island? Uh, what's the weather situation there? How are you? Not too bad. It's not too bad, as you say. Spring is coming, and uh, it makes everyone a little bit. Uh, it makes everyone just a little bit happier, doesn't it? When the days start getting a little bit longer, and you get a little bit of sunlight, uh, it, you know, it, it improves everybody's spirit. Yeah, lovely. 
Mr. Captain Paul Wallace, Mr. Captain Wallace Battle Commander, uh, I can read here in the chat. <laughs> so uh, you want to uh, talk about this afternoon about the third part of Simple Strategy. So what can our uh, listeners um, expect from this webinar? Um, so it, as you say, it's the, uh, it's the third part of uh, every month I have been doing like some simple tactics that need new traders could sort of take on board for trading 2022. Today's the third part, and today we're going to talk about a very simple uh, tactic that allows traders to uh, join an existing trend. And it's a, it's a simple setup called the FTR, the fail to return. Uh, and it's just, it's almost like a one bar, two bar way to be able to sort of uh, uh, join the trend that has started. So it's very, um, the reason it's good for new beginners is that it's, it's mechanical, it's unambiguous. It's actually, you know, the, the, the trade rules are either, it's either met and the trade is on or it's not. So there's very little ambiguity and traders can trade it in a mechanical way, which I think actually benefits a lot of new traders. Great stuff. I'm really excited about this and I guess people will too. And in the, in the chat, you can see the registration link here right now for Paul's webinar this afternoon. So I, uh, I will highly recommend that you join this webinar this afternoon. So Paul, I have a special question. Now you're talking about simple strategies and this is the third part. So do you have an explanation why so many people fail in trading? Even we have simple strategies. <laughs> Why 70, 80, 90% in the long run are high more? Uh, why they fail? We have simple strategy. Why they fail? Um, I think it's, uh, there's, there's, there's two reasons. The two simplest reasons I would say is firstly is that um, there is little or no risk management being employed. Uh, and invariably, they basically overtrade, over risk, uh, don't really uh, position size, don't really respect the market. And uh, that, that normally comes back to causing troubles. Uh, and secondly, is just the, the the simple element of actually having to follow a simple set of rules is that uh, by the very nature within uh, financial markets, you, it's, an, it's an environment where, where in which you can really do whatever you want. It's boundaryless. And actually, so following some simple rules for many traders seems dull, seems boring, seems unexciting. Uh, whereas actually professional traders know that you know starting off with a very simple mechanical set of rules is what uh, allows you to build a, the self-trust within yourself that basically means that you can be trusted in yourself to to do whatever needs to be done when um, when it's required in, in an environment that is boundaryless and dynamic and fluid and can change you know in a in a heartbeat mm. Uh, are you familiar with the uh, Turtle Trader experiment? Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. I know him. So, I've, uh, yeah, I've uh, him. What do you think? Uh, who was right, Mr. Uh, Richard Dennis or Mr. Bill Ackroyd? Uh, Bill Ackroyd. Bill Ackroyd. Do you think everybody can learn how to trade, or do you think it's more a question of talent and behavior? Um, I think anybody can learn how to trade, um, and uh, it's. I think anybody can learn how to trade. But a lot of it depends upon the the place that they are coming from in terms of you know the let's say their financial baseline, that their real drivers and motivation to want to be a trader. You uh, you know if you if you're just looking to chase money, it'd be like everything you chase in life. You know it just runs away from you faster. Whereas actually, if you're prepared to dedicate yourself to actually learning to be a trader and recognizing that it will take time to learn the skills to to acquire their craft and to spend the rest of the days honing that craft. Then, then yeah, I, I do believe anybody can be a trader. We should open a new turtle trader experiment, Paul. <laughs> I've, I've met I've, I've met Curtis Curtis Faith and stuff is a is a uh, who is the who is the most successful of the turtle traders and such and um, uh, yeah he's a <clears throat> he's an interesting character yeah he's an interesting yeah, very interesting character <laughs> yeah. and Cherry Parker has still its uh, uh, its own hedge fund uh, it was one of the youngest. Uh, Turtle traders at this at the first generation of the turtle traders, so mm -hmm. not so many people survived. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it was um, it, it, it fascinating. It's a fun insight into not only trading but human psychology, etc. So I would uh, I would recommend people read the books that have you know the, the many books that have been written about that turtle trader, or watch the film Trading Places if if you're a, if you're a child of the eighties like me. <laughs> 
<laughs> okay, that's cool. Because I have the same ex I have the same opinion. Everybody can learn trading if you're willing uh, to follow the principles for private traders. Yeah, then you can learn, but you have to follow the principle. This is a human decision. It's not a decision of the strategy or the market. It's always the decision must come from me, from my mind, and from my heart. And then it's a possible, and it's a great possibility to make money out in the markets. Yeah, exactly. I agree with you there. Wonderful. So I love it when we agree with, uh, with <laughs> each other. So uh, then I will show, uh, I'm looking forward to see you in the, in the webinar in the afternoon. And we are really excited what you're talking about at uh, uh, number three, Simple Strategies. Paul, thanks for your time this morning. I know you're a busy Pleasure. trader. Thanks for that. And guys, thanks for uh, joining our morning briefing show. We will see each other tomorrow again. I wish you all the best. And as always, have courage and be kind and may the force of the rules be with you.